Springfield Shawnee beat Elida 56 to 42 on Friday night at Piqua's Alexander Stadium. And no, this wasn't an early season basketball game. Rather, it was the Division Three state semifinal, and the winners get a rather challenging game with 10 and 3 Youngstown Cardinal Mooney next weekend at Fawcett Stadium in Canton, Ohio. It was Elida versus Shawnee, Mick Adams versus Jarzab, Central Buckeye versus Western Buckeye. Nearly a hundred points and nearly a thousand yards of total offense. It was the MVPHD game of the week, and we were there. <laughs> My name's Alex Sater and I'm your host. We had the good fortune of running into Tim Longevin after the game. Alex, this was a matchup between two teams in uncharted territory. It was a first state semifinal appearance for both Elida and Springfield Shawnee. Elida struck via the airwaves for a quick 35 to 14 lead late in the second quarter. But Shawnee answered with a bone-crushing ground attack to pull out the victory, 56-42. The 14-0 Braves are headed to where no team in Clark County history has gone before, the state championship game. And they'll face 10-3 Youngstown Cardinal Mooney, seven-time state champ, this upcoming Friday at 3 o'clock at Canton's Fawcett Stadium. And you can bet all of Clark County will be there. Uh, Because tonight's game drew over 8,500 fans. There were eight lead changes, and combined, there was 951 total yards, 98 points, 45 first downs, and a girl. Kicker Carly Gregory was 8 of 8 on the point after touchdowns. And when she did have the wind at her back, she kicked it out of the end zone. And that gave her 65 points on the year for the team. And this was a quarterback showcase. Shawnee's Brad Jarzip passed for 173 yards and two touchdowns, and he ran for 179 yards and three touchdowns, including a 68-yard romp to put the Braves ahead for good, 49-42 to with 6.50 left in the game. The other quarterback, Elida's Reggie McAdams, was equally impressive, though. He completed 31 of 47 passes for 394 yards and five touchdowns. But it was just four interceptions that haunted him. Yeah, well, I think uh, Shawnee did a really nice job of dropping back uh, after, you know, the one and a half quarters of kind of getting smacked around. Uh, I think they started dropping more receiver uh, defenders back because uh, I know Nick Hines had an interception, Drew Young had two picks, and James Williams had an interception. Um, I'm talking to their coach, Rick Meek. Uh, I was joking with him. Uh, they at the beginning of the year, their seniors decided to come up with uh, individual superhero characters. And uh, they wear those t-shirts underneath their jerseys. And, and Brad Jarzab is Superman. And their stud running back, Alex McCory, is Batman. 
Yeah, and, and they they also have uh, Iron Man, and they have a, a bunch of other nicknames. And every senior has a nickname, and they wear that T-shirt underneath their jerseys. So you know that that that's neat. And then Coach Rick Meeks, he decided to start throwing his beard at the start of the playoffs. Well, you saw how long it is now. Um, he's keeping it on, but he said come uh, next Friday after the game, he's shaving that baby off, win or lose. Uh, Both teams seem to feel comfortable being here, like they belonged in this game. Both teams stuck to their game plans. Neither team, according to the both coaches I talked to after, afterwards, really made any uh, uh, game changes, halftime changes. They just kept stick, you know. They stuck to their game plans, and and, and look what we got. <laughs> We're not even going to do a scoring summary. Why don't you give us like a scoring flow chart? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, you know, there's what 15 touchdowns in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I was running out of ink in this game. But, you know, Ricky Adams started it off. McAdams hooked up with Austin Hetzler on a night, on a uh, 44-yard touchdown pass. They went up 7 to nothing. Uh, but then uh, Springfield came right back. They tied it up. Brad Jars up, scored on an 8-yard run. Uh, and then, boom, Elida went back ahead. McAdams hooked up with Edsler again, this time on a 38-yard pass, and then the, the score was tied again. Uh, Drew Young had a really nifty 44-yard interception return for a touchdown on that one, so that made it 14-14. And then, you know, Elida exploded for 21 points to close out the second quarter, and that's when they met 35-14. to 14. But then there was still 45 seconds left in the half, and Springfield Shawnee marched 80 yards, okay? And then Brad Jars had gapped it with a 35-yard touchdown pass to Nick Hines, so that made it 35-21 to 21 at the break. And that, that drive was key right there. Uh, uh, George had told me after the game, he goes, that last drive right before a half was key because we were pretty deflated after that. And then to come back and score like that, we, we, felt, we felt okay that we were still in the game. <laughs> Yeah. 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 We want Moody! Yeah. 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 Yeah.